This is the view from Cadillac Mountain at Acadia National Park. And this is the view the migrating hawks see. As migrating hawks stream down the coast and cross Frenchman's Bay, they know that the mountain will give them a lift southward. It happens most when the winds are from the north and northwest. The wind comes straight in, hits the rocks, and lifts up. On a sunny day, the rocks warm up and the hawks ride the rising thermals. Hundreds of hawks can pass the summit in one day. And hawk watchers will be right there to count them, as they have for the last 27 years. Sagutic Institute has been in charge for the last 10. Experts and park rangers are present to help anybody who shows up to watch and learn. Through binoculars, experts can identify hawks over five miles away. Ever wonder how they're doing it? Two ways, by what the hawks look like, and more importantly, by what they're doing. Let's divide the raptors into four groups. The birds that are large, starting with the eagles, the vultures, the ospreys, and northern harriers. The eagles are obviously big. More importantly, they fly with their wings straight out, flat as a board. Even a speck of the horizon is obvious. Turkey vultures fly with a big wing dihedral, that is a flying V. They flap as little as possible and teeter a lot. Ospreys are just the opposite. They fly with an inverted gull wing shape, the wingtips pointing downward from a crook in the elbow. Northern Harriers have unusually long wings and long tails and just seem to float slowly in the air. Then there are three families of hawks going by this peak. The falcons are streamlined like a jet fighter with short tails and pointed wings. They chase down their prey in the open. Most of the falcons passing Cadillac are American kestrels. They have to be nimble enough to catch dragonflies in midair. So when they pass by, they have a rather fluttery, flopping flight style, going up and down quite a bit. Next is the Ysipiter family. They take other birds by surprise attack. They have relatively short wings and long tails, which makes them highly maneuverable. It also gives them a flap, flap, glide flying style, which you can see from miles away. Sharp shin hawks are just slightly larger than the kestrels. They're equally buoyant in the air, but they fly more directly, less floppy. Cooper's hawks are a bit bigger, but do the same thing. They're recognized by their rounded tail tip compared to the squared tail of a sharp shin. Their larger heads also stick out farther in front of the wing. Northern goshawks are the big bruisers in the Ossipiter family, but not many cross the summit in migration, and a lot don't migrate at all. There are three members of the Budio family that cross by Cadillac, but most of them are the smallest of the three, and that's broad-winged hawk. Even so, they're a little bit bigger than the falcons and occipiters. Beautyers have big wings and relatively short tails. They spread their big wings like a kite, soaring more, flapping less. That's obvious even miles away. Up close, the tails of broad-winged hawks are distinctly striped with a dark band and light band of nearly equal size. Red-tailed hawks are well known. On adults, the larger size and red tail are obvious, but on young hawks, the tail isn't red yet. It's pale and faintly striped as it circles overhead. If it's right of the wind, it may not spread its tail at all. So that's it. Here in Acadia, it's mostly American kestrels, sharp shin hawks, and broad wings hawks passing the summit. And once you see a lot of those, anything unusual catches your eye almost right away. The Acadia Hawk Watch is there for anyone September through mid-October. Remember, advanced registration is now required for vehicle access to Cadillac Mountain.